Hey out there and welcome, I'm Kate. I'm here today with Memphis who is gracing us with his presence for the first time in a long time. We are going to do <laughs> a rotisserie practice. What is that? Well, think about those um, chickens that you put on a rotisserie and they just kind of spin. <laughs> We're gonna do a lot of flipping and rolling around today because it's how I like to practice. <laughs> so I'm gonna make you practice that way too. So grab a mat, find a quiet spot, <laughs> roll that puppy out, and let's just have some fun. Okay guys, so we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna get started in table. So come on, into it. <sighs> and you know, just like we start every other class. <laughs> we're gonna do some cat and cow. <sighs> just to warm up. It's a nice easy way to start to connect your movement <sighs> with your breath. Good way to wake up your spine. All that good stuff. Keep rolling with your breath. One more exhale, round in. Inhale, stretch your chest forward. Let your belly drop. This time when you exhale, you're gonna walk your hands forward, spread your fingers, tuck your toes, and slide your hips back, downward facing dog. Take a moment here to pedal it out. <sighs> Working through the backs of your legs. You can sway a little bit, shifting your weight from one foot, one hand, to the other. <sighs> yeah. All right, so you're gonna come back through center. Whatever rocking and rolling you're doing, we're gonna bring that <laughs> to the middle. And then take your feet a little bit wider. Then hips distance, come high into the balls of your feet. Let both feet drop over to the right. Press into your hands, left one especially. Drag your upper left hip up and back. <sighs> Inhale up through center. Exhale, drop over to the other side. Dragging your outer right hip back as you push into your right hand. <sighs> Inhale, back through center, placing your feet about hips distance apart. Exhale, send your heels a little closer to the mat. Inhale, come high into the balls of your feet. Exhale, sink those heels. And another inhale, lift up. Exhale, sink. Last one. Come high into your balls of your feet and sink back down. I'm gonna gaze forward, inhale, or rock forward into plank. Exhale, hips drag up, stretch back. Inhale, rock forward. Exhale, pull back. Last one of those puppies. Inhale, rock it forward. Exhale, pull back. Take another breath in. And when you exhale, lower your knees to your mat. Find table. You're gonna take the fingertips, bring them around, maybe so they point back toward your knees, maybe somewhere in between, right? Let your shoulders soften. Keep your abdominal muscles engaged and maybe slide your hips a little bit back toward your heels. Get a stretch into the fronts of your wrists, into your forearms. And then rock forward, shoulders over your wrists. Peel one hand off the floor, shake it out. You're gonna bring the back of that hand to the mat as you peel the other hand off the floor, shake that out. Both hands now, backs and the hands down, fingertips pointing in. Just spread your fingers. A little counter, counter movement here. Pull your fingertips into a fist and squeeze. And then release, spreading your fingers back out. Come back off the, <laughs> the hand and then the other, shake them all out. Okay, from here, you're gonna walk your hands forward again. So we're in a slightly longer table and a downward facing dog. <sighs> Inhale here. When you exhale, you're gonna sink your knees toward the mat, but keep your hips drawing up and back for a second. Take your gaze forward, and you're just gonna push off the balls of your feet, come forward into plank. Inhale. Exhale, float your knees above the mat, slide your hips back toward your heels this time, coming into almost like a child's pose with the knees still floating, and then work to straighten your legs, downward facing dog. Keeping your hips up and back, bend your knees toward the mat, gaze forward, 
Inhale, plank. Exhale, bend your knees, let them float above your mat, hips to your heels. Take a breath in. Oh. Exhale, straighten your legs, down dog. One more of those. Inhale, rock forward. Exhale, float those knees, floaty child's pose. And then downward facing dog, straighten out those legs. Take a couple of breaths here. Inhale, you're gonna float your right leg up, stretch it back, roll out your ankle, wiggle your toes. <laughs> And then gaze forward and step your right foot to the outside of your right hand. Coming into lizard, we're gonna hang here. Sink your hips, take a breath. That's it. Hands firmly underneath your shoulders, step back, downward facing dog. Inhale, come forward into plank. Lower your knees, chest and chin. Keep those elbows in. Baby cobra <laughs> or belly splat, <laughs> whatever comes first. Inhale here and exhale, downward facing dog. Pull your hips up, <laughs> stretch it back and breathe. All right, you're gonna float your left leg up, down dog split, inhale here. <sighs> okay, gaze forward. Step that left foot to the outside of your left hand. Sink your hips. Find your lizard here. Yep. Downward facing dog. Inhale, rock forward. And lower down, knees, chest, chin. Chaturanga if you want it. Baby cobra. <laughs> or upward facing dog. And then pull your hips up. Draw them back. Downward facing dog. Here we go. We're gonna add on to that. Sweep your right leg up, inhale. Exhale, step your right foot to the outside of your right hand. Left foot is gonna kick through. Right hand taps the left toes. Step the left foot back, right hand to the mat. You're gonna step your right foot back, come into a little crouch. All right, downward facing dog. Inhale, sweep your left leg up. Exhale, step it forward. Find your lizard up to the outer edge of your left hand. Keep your right hand on the mat. You're gonna sneak your right leg through. Give a little tap. Step it back. Left hand down, left foot back, and crouch. We're gonna come from here now, right? Keep your knees bent, hips high. Step your right foot up to the outside of the right hand. Kick through. Step it back. Plant your hands. Crouch. Left foot forward. Kick your right leg through. Step it back, crouch. One more to each side. Le or right foot steps, left foot slides through, left foot back, right foot back, crouch. Left foot forward, right leg through, step back, crouch, downward facing dog. <laughs> and you can breathe, it's okay. <sighs> Gets your heart going. Now we're gonna rotisserie. We're warmed up a little bit more, so inhale, float your right leg up. As you exhale, you're gonna bend your knees, stack your hips. Then slowly start to drop the ball of that right foot down onto the mat. Roll your left, or press into your left hand. Roll your right shoulder open. Inhale. When you exhale, set your butt on the floor. So you're facing the back edge of your mat. Your right hand's gonna swing around behind you. Push into your right hand, push into your feet, lift your hips. Butt to the ground, swing it around. Step the right foot up between your thumbs. Crescent lunge, inhale. As you exhale, sink into the weight of your feet. And breathe. Full breath here. Hands to the floor. As you exhale, step back, down dog. Vinyasa if you want it. You can hang out in your down dog, it's up to you. Left leg's gonna lift, inhale, sweep it up. Bend your knee, stack your hip. Gonna drop onto that ball of that left foot, find your wild thing. Lift your hips, stretch up, reach. When you exhale, you're gonna set your butt down facing the back edge of your mat. <laughs> Left hand hits the mat. 
Just stretch it up, inhale. Exhale, butt to the floor. Or right hand comes down. Gonna step this left foot up between your thumbs as you pivot around. Inhale up, crescent lunge. Soften your shoulders. <sighs> and breathe. Inhale here. Exhale. We're gonna step your right foot up to meet your left and fold for a moment, Uttanasana. Soften your knees, grab opposite hand to elbow and let yourself kind of bounce and sway. Make some space in your shoulders for a second through the sides of your body. <sighs> All right, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale and fold. Press the floor away. Come all the way up, Ordva Hastasana, inhale. Exhale, hands down through prayer. Let's add on to that. <laughs> inhale, come out and up. Exhale and fold, Uttanasana. Halfway lift, lengthen up. Downward facing dog. Take it back. Okay, inhale, float your right leg up. We're gonna come into it the same way, so you're gonna stack your right hip open on top of the left. Drop back through your wild thing. Lift your hips, gaze up. Set your butt on the floor. Our right hand's gonna swing around behind you. Push into both feet, it's a little crunchy. Just going for some extra lift here. Come back down. You ready? This time, right leg's gonna kick through into fallen triangle. Drop your left heel. Lift up. Let your butt come down to the, mo the mat. Sweep around. Left hand's gonna hit the floor behind you. Press into your heels. Lift your hips here. And then drop your butt. Sweep it all the way around. Right leg's gonna swing up and back. Inhale. And when you exhale, pull your right knee into your chest. Cross that right leg over the left like we were coming into eagle. So a tight cross through the thighs. Drop your left foot over to the right, shift your weight onto your right hand. Take your left arm, reach it up. And you can bend your left knee, send your hips back a bit. And then swing your left hand onto the floor. We're gonna pivot around to the outer edge of the left foot, left side Vashisthasana, right foot into tree. Inhale. <laughs> Exhale, step it back through plank. Vinyasa if you want it. and downward facing dog. And we'll do it again. And then we'll add some. This <laughs> is super fun. Inhale, sweep it up. Left leg's gonna lift. Stack that left hip open on top of the right. Bend your knee. Drop it back. Find your wild thing. <sighs> Boop. Lift up. Let your butt hit the ground. Left hand's gonna sweep around. Lift up again. Butt to the ground. Left leg's gonna swing through. Fallen triangle, we're rotisserie, full on now. Spinning and flipping. <laughs> Drop your hips, sweep your right arm behind you, press into the floor, lift one last time, sink it down, down dog split, left leg's gonna sweep up and reach back. <sighs> Hug your left knee in, you're gonna wrap your left leg around your right. Drop your right heel to the left, come onto your left hand and reach it up. Bend that right knee. <sighs> Send your hips back a bit. All right, right side Vashisthasana. Reach your right arm up. Flip it around. Left leg's gonna, gonna come into tree. <sighs> and then plant your left hand. Downward facing dog. As you exhale, walk or hop Uttanasana. <sighs> Top of the mat. Lengthen when you get there and fold. Roll out your wrists. Sweep your hands behind your back. Interlace your fingers. Shake out your head as you drag the tops of your shoulders away from your ears and breathe. Then release your hands. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale and fold. Press the floor away. Come out and up, inhale. And hands down through prayer as you exhale. Okay, one more. <laughs> we got this, we're gonna add on. Boop, 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 a little bit more. Boop is the word of the day apparently, <laughs> inhale. Come out and up, sweep those arms up. Stand tall as you 
Firmly plant through your feet, reach into your fingertips. When you exhale, dive forward. <sighs> Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, downward facing dog. You can hop if you feel like it. It's always a thing. Sweep your right leg up, inhale. When you exhale, you're gonna bend your knees, stack your hip, and then drop back. Find your wild thing. Keep your hips lifted, open through your chest, and then drop your butt facing the back edge of your mat. Bring your right hand behind you. Press into your feet, lift yourself up. Exhale, butt back down to the mat. Fall in triangle, gonna sweep the right leg around and through. Come on up here. And then set your butt on the ground again. This time the left hand's gonna sweep behind. Lift your hips, working on strength. And back around to the front of the mat. Down dog split, sweep the right leg up. Exhale, pull your knee in. Wrap it around the left for little eagle legs here. Drop your heel over to the left or the right. Shift onto your right hand. Left arm up. Bend that left knee. Yes. And then <laughs> reach forward with the left hand. Left side Vashisasana. Bring this right leg into tree. And from here, we're going to step the right foot forward up to that left thumb. Open up. Warrior <laughs> two. It was super graceful. Right? <laughs> it is what it is. Sink down. Shoulders soft. And then feel your energy stretch fingertip to fingertip. And breathe. From here, you're gonna windmill your left hand down to the mat, pivot on the ball of your back foot, grab a yoga toe hold with this on the right toe, flip onto the outer edge of your left foot. One more time, we're gonna sweep it up. And if that doesn't work right, just grab here, pull your knee in, take your right hand to the mat, one more little rotisserie, drop your left foot over to the right, see if you can keep this knee into your chest, Stretch your left leg out. Maybe kick the right leg out. Bend the knee back in. Three-legged plank, inhale. <laughs> Exhale, chaturanga. Upward facing dog. Oh, and downward facing dog. Okay. Okay. <laughs> left foot's gonna lift. Bend your knee, stack your hip. You guys have got this one down now, right? Easy peasy. Drop back, find your wild thing. Lift it up. Let your butt sail down to the ground. Left hand behind. Lift here. Butt back to the ground. Right hand down. Left leg's gonna swing through. Fall in triangle. Getting a nice, easy toast on all sides. <laughs> Let your hips hit the floor, sweep your right hand behind you, lean back, lift up strong, and then butt to the floor. Here we go, down dog split, the left leg's gonna drag through. As you exhale, pull your knee in, wrap it around. We got this, heel's gonna drop to the left, shift onto your left hand, right arm up, bend your knee. Okay, and now take this right hand, reach it forward, pivot around, Vashisasana, bringing your left foot into tree. And now lift this left foot up, step it to that right thumb, warrior two. <laughs> and breathe. Softening down. Straighten your front leg out and over. Trikonasana. Inhale it here. Exhale, windmill. Right hand down to the mat. We're gonna let a right side Vashisasana. Grab a yoga hold on this left foot. Shift around. 
flip it up. If this is what you got, this is what you got. Maybe the legs lift. Maybe you're feeling a little saggy today. It's all good, right? Now you're gonna take your left hand to the floor, see if we can swing it through, left knee bent into your chest. We're gonna keep it here. Maybe kick it out, bring it back in. <laughs> right hand to the floor, stretch that left leg out, three-legged plank, you can vinyasa here. <sighs> Come on up and pull it back. Downward facing dog and breathe. Deep inhale. And when you exhale, lower your knees to the mat. Take your hips to your heels, let your elbows drop, let your shoulders soften. <sighs> For the weight of your forehead, relax down. And if you're feeling super duper fatigued in your hands and your wrists, give yourself a moment here. Kind of roll out your wrists. Couple more breaths right here. All right, downward facing dog. One more little bit. Before we're done for the day, we're gonna cool down. Take your right leg, lift it up. <laughs> and then from here, you're gonna slide it through, coming into pigeon. Inhale, sit nice and tall. And when you exhale, you can lower yourself down onto your forearms. Breathe here for a moment. Try to work your hips to square. Okay, we're gonna slide your hands underneath you. Come on up, take this outer right hip, drop it to the floor for a second. Oh, you know what, don't do that, come back up. Let's try something else before we come into that. Gonna keep yourself drawing in, right leg bones, plug into the sockets, gonna bend your left knee, and maybe this is kind of where you hang out, that's cool. If you've got a block you wanna put underneath your right hand, if you don't feel like, if you feel like you need a little more lift, that's cool. Right hand's gonna come to the middle of the mat, take your left hand around, and just try to grab for this left foot. You can keep your right hand on the mat. If you wanna to start to try to get some lift here, you're gonna plug the legs in, push into the floor with that right shin. Pull your low belly in, feel a little lift through your pelvic floor, right? Maybe we can float this right hand up. Maybe. If not, fingertips down on the mat for support. Inhale. Now when you exhale, we're gonna go for one of my favorite new moves I learned from one of my favorite teachers. You're gonna drop onto your outer right hip. Keep a hold of that left foot. We're gonna swing it around, stretch it forward, coming into crown chasana, a little heron pose. You can walk your hands down a bit if you want. If you need a little more length for, or a little more space for your hamstrings, right? Feel your shoulders roll back, lift your chest. Inhale. When you exhale, take your left leg across to the outer edge of the right, both sitting bones rooted, wrap around with the right arm, lengthen up through the left side, and take a twist here. Ardha Matsyandrasana. And then slowly come back through the middle. Gonna swing your left leg back behind you so you have space to plant your hands. Step it back, downward facing dog. All right, same thing on the left side. Sweep your left leg up, swing it forward, coming into pigeon. And gaze back. Make sure your right leg's doing kind of what it should be doing. <laughs> Draw your legs gently in as you inhale, lengthen up. Exhale, come out and over. And breathe. And 
and slide your hands back underneath you. Come on back up. You're going to press into your left shin. See if you can slowly now start to plug your legs in, lift your pelvic floor, lift your low belly in and up, almost like you could use that belly button as an elevator up into your ribs. Okay, try to keep that lift. The left hand's gonna come toward the middle of the mat, reach your right hand around and maybe you can grab for the foot. If the foot grab isn't working for you, it's okay, it's all good. If you wanna grab a strap, lasso your foot. Maybe you can root down a little bit more to rise up. Take that left hand, reach it up. And then left hand's gonna come down, drop onto your outer left hip, Sweep your right leg forward. And then kick your right leg straight. Arm bones plug in, reach through your heel and breathe. Crown Chasana. Inhale. And when you exhale, you're gonna take your right foot, step it to the outside of your left. Both sitting bones root down. If that's not accessible, Keep the right leg where it is. Stretch your left leg out straight. You're gonna wrap around with the left arm. Lift up with the right. Lengthen. And then exhale, find your twist. All that work, now we can start to kind of ring out a little bit, right? One more breath. and bring your gaze forward. Gonna swing your right leg back. Downward facing dog. It doesn't have to be super anything. <laughs> Just give you a second to kind of pedal out from side to side. Then you're gonna gaze forward and tiptoe your feet forward so you can sit all the way down. Come onto your back, drawing your knees in. <sighs> give yourself a well-deserved hug here. Feels good to be on the ground. <laughs> And we already did a twist here, but if you feel like you need another one, arms out to the sides, let your knees drop over to the right. <sighs> if you want to skip the twist and move into a happy baby, that's cool. Come on up through the middle and drop over to the other side. This part of class is usually like a little yogi's choice, a little choose your own adventure, pick your poison, whatever works. <sighs> Coming back through center. Maybe you take the knees wide. Maybe you work a happy baby. Wherever you are, take a couple more breaths. And then let your legs stretch all the way out. If you've got layers that you wanna put back on to stay warm, then go for it. We're gonna lay out for a minute. Not for a ton of time, so if you wanna stay a little bit longer than, than we do, you absolutely can stay as long as you want, but you're just gonna let yourself relax on the mat. Maybe let your head go a little bit side to side. And breathe. Feel yourself splat onto the floor. the rest.
and start to move your fingers, wiggle your toes. And like I said, if you want to stay longer, by all means, when you're ready, you can draw one knee in and then the other. Come to rest on your right side. Hang out here. Mm. Inhale, you can stay here as long as you want to. <laughs> this is really comfortable. <sighs> okay, <laughs> when you're ready to come back into your day, you can press into the strength of your arms and come on up. So bad that I'm not ready. It's okay. We got this. Come on up. <laughs> and find a comfortable seat. Take a second to let your eyes slide closed. Get your sitting bones rooted underneath you. Your heart lifted up, the crown of your head reaching to the sky. Bring your palms together into Anjali Mudra and bow your head. And honor your time on the mat. Honor your body, your breath. Hopefully you feel like you have been cooked well and evenly on all sides. <laughs> a little classic rotisserie here. Have a wonderful day. Thanks for sharing your practice with me. I look forward to practicing with you again. As always, I say it every time I feel like about it, but um, like, subscribe, um, share with a friend, and check out some of my other videos. There are some hopefully some good ones in there. <laughs> Have a wonderful day, guys. Take care.